How to Reduce Symptoms of Carpal Tunnel During Pregnancy Carpal Tunnel Syndrome, CTS, is caused by the swelling and inflammation of nerves that line the wrist's carpal tunnel cavity, located in the wrist of each hand. CTS is a common occurrence during pregnancy because of edema, the buildup of fluids in the bodice tissues. By some estimates, upwards of 60% of pregnant women may experience the symptoms of carpal tunnel syndrome at varying degrees of intensity. Common symptoms of CTS include pain, numbness, difficulty gripping objects, and a tingling sensation in the hands, palms, and fingers. Although carpal tunnel syndrome will usually recede at the conclusion of your pregnancy, it may persist for up to six months after delivery. Knowing how to treat the symptoms from the start so they do not worsen can help you reduce pain and regain your full range of motion. Part 1 Relieving the Pain of CTS 1. Ice the Wrists Ice therapy is an excellent pain reliever and anti-inflammatory treatment as it helps numb throbbing pain very quickly. Ice can also reduce inflammation by slowing the blood flow to the site of the injury. Use a cold pack or wrap some ice cubes in a clean dish towel. You can also run your wrists under cold tap water for 10 minutes at a time. Do not apply ice packs for longer than 20 minutes at a time. Remove the ice for at least 10 minutes before reapplying it. Some people find that alternating cold and hot therapies can be effective for reducing carpal tunnel pain. To do this, alternate between an ice compress and a hot compress for one minute each over the course of five to six minutes. If alternating between hot and cold therapies, you can repeat the treatment routine three to four times each day. 2. Splint the wrists Many people find that wearing a wrist splint can help reduce the wrist's movement while CTS symptoms persist. This allows the wrist to remain relatively stable in order to heal. Splints can typically be purchased at most pharmacies without a prescription. Depending on the severity of your CTS, your doctor may recommend a specialized splint. Many people with CTS use wrist splints at night to prevent inadvertently painful movements, such as rolling over during sleep. 3. Get Adequate Rest Rest is important to recover from any injury, as it allows the body time to heal. This is particularly important when it comes to high, use body parts like the hands and wrists. Reduce or eliminate non-required activities. Avoid doing anything strenuous with the hands or wrists as much as possible while healing from CTS. 4. Elevate your hands. During rest, it can be helpful to elevate the forearm and hand, or both, if experiencing CTS in both wrists. Elevating an injury can help reduce swelling and inflammation by slowing down blood flow. To elevate the arms, use a pillow or a clean, rolled-up towel. 5. Establish a proper sleeping posture It's best to sleep on your side or back when pregnant. Make sure hands are not clenched, but are in a neutral relaxed position. If sleeping on your side, you can use a pillow to rest your hand on, maintaining a neutral position. If you wake up in the middle of the night with numbness or tingling, Try shaking out your hand until the pain goes away. Always make sure your wrists are not bent while sleeping, or that you are sleeping on your hands. A splint may help to keep the wrists straight. Part 2 Exercising the Wrists for CTS Relief 1. Flex the wrist up and down Carpal tunnel syndrome reduces mobility in the wrist, and can make it difficult to do even the most basic manual functions. One way to strengthen the wrist is by building up strength using repetition of gentle movements. Flexing the wrist up and down can help increase mobility and rebuild your range of motion. Keep your fingers straight and extend your arm straight out in front of you. Bend the wrist forwards and backwards, lifting the whole hand up and down in gentle, alternating motions. 
If you have trouble doing this exercise with your arm out in front of you, you can extend your arm across a table or armrest with the wrist hanging over the edge. Repeat this exercise 10 times each day. 2. Practice moving your fingers. In addition to decreased wrist mobility, many people who suffer from carpal tunnel syndrome find it difficult to move their fingers or form a fist. In addition to wrist exercises, it's equally important to rebuild strength and mobility in the fingers and hand. Form a fist with your hand and squeeze your fist as hard as you can without causing pain. Hold the fist for 5 to 10 seconds before straightening the fingers back into an extended position. Repeat this exercise 10 times each day. 3. Expand your range of motion. A comprehensive carpal tunnel exercise regimen should work to strengthen all parts of the hand and wrist. Each of the individual fingers may experience a reduced range of motion, so it's important to focus on every individual digit of the hand. Touch your index finger to your thumb, forming an O shape, like the sign for OK. Move down the hand, touching each individual finger to the thumb. Repeat this exercise 10 times, working your way up and down the row of fingers. Part 3 Treating CTS After Your Delivery 1. Know when to see a doctor Most pregnancy-induced cases of carpal tunnel syndrome tend to clear up on their own within a few weeks after the baby is born. However, some cases of pregnancy-related CTS can persist upwards of six months after the delivery. If CTS is treated early on, it is often easy to manage the symptoms until the pain clears up on its own. However, if CTS goes untreated, it may progress and cause extensive damage. In severe cases, when CTS goes untreated, it may require surgery or therapy. 2. Take medication Your doctor may advise you against taking pain medications, including non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, while pregnant. After the baby has been born, however, your doctor may recommend that you take medication to help alleviate the pain. It's important to talk to your doctor about whether certain medications could affect your child through breast milk, if you plan on breastfeeding your child. Common pain medications include NSAIDs, like ibuprofen and acetaminophen. For more serious pain, your doctor may recommend a prescription, strength pain medication. 3. Ask your doctor about corticosteroids. Depending on the severity of your carpal tunnel syndrome, your doctor may recommend corticosteroid injections. Corticosteroids, such as cortisone, can help relieve swelling and inflammation, which in turn can relieve the pressure on the nerves in your wrist. Orally, administered corticosteroids are not as effective as injections for treating CTS. 4. Consider surgical options. Most cases of pregnancy related CTS will not require surgery. However, if you're prone to carpal tunnel pain and your symptoms do not clear up after you've had your baby, your doctor may recommend surgery as an option. Surgery does carry risks, including the risk of nerve or vascular injuries that could permanently restrict your range of motion. Surgical options are generally safe, though, and may be effective for long-term pain relief. Endoscopic surgery is a CTS procedure in which a surgeon uses an endoscope, a long, thin telescoping instrument, to enter the carpal tunnel and sever the ligament causing pain and inflammation. Endoscopic surgery is generally considered less painful than open surgery. Open surgery involves a surgeon making a comparatively bigger incision in the palm of the hand. The surgeon then enters the wrist through the incision and severs the ligament to free the nerve. The procedure is similar to endoscopic surgery, but it is much more invasive, and consequently it may take longer to heal. 5. Try Rehabilitative Therapy Some people with long-term carpal tunnel pain may require physical and occupational therapy to regain a broad range of motion in the wrists and hands. 
Certain rehabilitative therapy techniques can help relieve pain and strengthen the muscles in the hands and wrists. In addition to physical and occupational therapy, some people find that high, intensity ultrasound therapy can help the wrists. This treatment involves raising the temperature in and around the wrists to reduce pain and promote blood flow in order to allow the injury to heal. 6. Do strengthening exercises once your wrist is strong enough. Strengthening exercises can be performed once pain has considerably been reduced. Start with isometric exercises, such as the following, keep your wrist in a neutral position with your palm down, and place your other hand on top of your wrist. Keep fist slightly closed and try extending your wrist back while at the same time providing just enough resistance with your other hand to keep your wrist from moving. Hold position for 10 seconds and repeat 5 to 10 times. You can perform this exercise 3 times per week. You can now position your hand so that your palm is facing up, with your hand in a comfortable closed position. Place other hand on top of the closed hand and try flexing your wrist while applying just enough resistance with the other hand so that your wrist is not moving. Hold this position for 10 seconds and repeat 5 times.